This elderly woman told us thieves convinced her to pay them tens of thousands of dollars for landscaping services she didn't need and never got. They asked you for money more than once, didn't oh, they? Oh, yes. Many times. Now at this hour, investigators are working to find out if that scheme cost any other victims. If you were watching at 4, you heard how an alert bank teller finally helped police arrest the suspects. Back in 2013, the victim lost nearly $20,000. And this month, the same group took another 5000 Police told Channel 9's Janine Reyes the case is part of a predatory tree trimming scam. The 85-year-old woman who lives in this home has been here since the 70s. She's worried now, though, about this tree. You can see it's fairly large. She's been concerned it may fall on her home or potentially one of her neighbor's homes. That's when a man came knocking on her door, offering to take it down for several thousand dollars. Police say John and Sony Haddon took that woman to her bank to pull out even more cash after her initial $5,000 payment. The teller realized something was wrong and called Maitland police. Did you realize before the teller told you something that they might be taking advantage of you? Of course, but what should I do? I needed the trees taken care of. The woman tells me in 2013, a man by the name of Kenneth Karen took her for 20 k he claimed to run a company called Unique Tree Service. The Haddons told officers they run a company called CAS Tree Service. Neither are listed as a business. I'm afraid of companies now. The woman didn't realize Haddon and Karen are co-defendants in another case where they're charged with exploiting the elderly. She admits after being taken twice, she's afraid. I'm uh, a little apprehensive of retaliation. Police believe the Haydens were involved in that same scam last year involving this very same victim and this very same tree. In fact, they say they believe these people have been conducting scams like this throughout this area, also in Winter Park, Maitland, and Seminole County as well. They're asking now that the Haydens not have any contact with anyone over the age of 55. Reporting in Orange County, Janine Reyes, Channel 9 Eyewitness News.